All right, guys. Welcome if you're a newcomer. If you're continuing to follow me, all the more thank you for coming back. This is going to be a really short video because I want to demonstrate something that's extremely important. And a lot of you all out there, especially others, don't get this. And this is so important because if you're ever going to achieve the end to a means to ever get this to work, if we can get this to work, and I'm pretty confident we can. This is important, what I have set up here. I want to show you something that you probably never thought about, never discovered, never even contemplated. Well, I, I have. I've been trying to explain this in my videos, but nobody seems to get it. So this just happened to start doing things when I was doing something else. I figured, you know what? I can use this for a quick lesson. So watch this. Remember I told you about, well, I don't know how many of you have all watched a lot of my videos. Probably most of you have not. So... What's going on here is that this is my stator. There's a magnet in here, about dead center, uh, a two inch by one inch by a quarter of an inch thick magnet. Now watch this. You see, there's no magnetic attraction on the back side. Can you see that? And I put squiggly lines so you know which way is back, and I put the word top on top. Okay, look at that. Turn this around, and voila. Okay. Okay, now, with that said, the next part of this, why these stators, my stator does what it does, is that since there's zero, zero, I mean, look at this, that there is a teensy weensy bit of magnetic attraction coming out the back, that screw would at least attach itself to it just slightly. Just slightly, you would see it trying to pull back, but it doesn't. There's just no magnetic flux coming out of there. Okay, so, but on the front side, we have full strength. So what we have here is weak and strong, but guess what? Magnets are attracted to metal. But the attraction of magnets to metal is nowhere near as great as magnets attracted to another magnet. So that's far stronger. So what we have here is that it's weaker here, stronger here, which gives direction to the to the stator. It helps to give a flow, if you will. Now, this is another critical part about this. I have referred to this, and if you Google on, if you Google this called magnetic runway plates, no one ever had that term up on the web. I'm the first because I researched it early on to see if anybody else was doing it. Zero came up for Google other than myself. This acts as a runway. Think in terms like an airport, they have a long runway ramp. In this case, it's very short, okay? So what's happening is the magnets are coming in, they're drawn to the metal. Because remember, magnets are attracted to metal, but the strength of attraction between a magnet to a magnet on the other side here, where the magnetism is full force, versus here it's zero, because there's no flux coming out, because I demonstrated that to you using a screw. When we turn this at a slant, it causes the magnets to be drawn to the closest point. So... If they're coming in at an angle like this, a pie, like an airplane, coming in for a landing, then the magnets are attracted to this, but they're also attracted to the closer point. So as the magnets swoop in, they accelerate in speed. And then they, because there's so much inertia, then it just kicks on off as it gets one last little kick from here. What I want to do is try this and put one of these in a, a repulsion mode and see what happens. For some reason, I never... Did it. I don't know why. Don't ask me. But check this out now. Now that I've got you up to speed on this part, watch this. Here's a piece of steel. The steel here is just like this. Nothing fancy. Just a piece of. It's, it's used for uh, shelving, so you can mount this to a wall, and it'll hold something heavy. And that's all it is. It's just a piece of steel, iron mixture. I don't know. Now, here, here's the same thing here. I mounted it down. I've got this at a slight angle to the wheel, as you can tell. Look, see how it moves? i got this at a slight angle. And remember, what did I say? This magnetism, or magnetic field, is going to be drawn to this, but it's also going to be drawn to the closest point. So this is going to act like a runway. So the magnets are going to want to swoop in and try to get to this point. But then, like airplanes that overshoot the end of the runway, that magnet just keeps on going, and the next magnet comes in to swoop in and runs off the end of the runway itself. So think of these like a bunch of little airplanes coming in for a landing. 
Sorry about the metaphor, but it's the only thing I can think of. So watch this. Move this around here. Now, I had to bring the gap back. I, I had closed to demonstrate this because it doesn't seem to work well without a gap. Okay, now watch this. Okay, remember what I said? I'm barely going to let, I just, I didn't really give it a push at all. Hmm, isn't that interesting? That's going to stop as it gets toward the end of these here because it's just something weird happens when it gets toward the end of the, toward the end of the track. But one last time here, just let it go right here. Okay, you see it picking up speed and more speed. Now it's at a steady speed. And there's no magnet here. And of course, this is about where it dies again. Okay, so that's what I'm talking about because this acts as a runway for the magnet to swoop in, coming in like a, like a landing, and then runs off the end of the runway. Put this down here like this. So as the magnets come down like this, is that a good angle? Yeah, there we go. So the magnets come down like this, swooping down, trying to get to the closest point, and of course it doesn't, and then the magnets just run off the end of this. So actually, the longer this runway is, the better this works. Um, I did make a video where I had a really, really long runway. It was really, really cool, but some really weird stuff started happening. It was, didn't make any sense. The runway became a like polarity. So... The normal attraction from magnet to steel suddenly changed. The steel started repelling. Yeah, the metal started repelling the magnets. Now, I don't uh, detect any of that going on here, but I have that video up online too. But don't waste your time with it unless you just got to know and see the video. But okay, that's it. I just want to show you this is a third factor of why my stators work so well. They're at an angle to the magnet. So that's part one. It's, it's, it's a, a runway plate. It acts like a, a runway, a, a landing for the magnets to come here and land. And of course, they got too much momentum and they just fly off the end here. Oops, I'm sorry, it was off camera. So uh, I'll show again, like I said, the magnets have too much momentum and they simply fly off the end of the runway here, off the edge. And that's why this does what it does. The other thing too is because, what? There's no magnetic flux coming out this side, and all the magnetic flux is on this side. It does start about here, which gives even a greater attraction, and then just flies off the end of the runway, if you will. Okay. That's it. I just wanted to show you that. All right. Thank you, guys. I'm out of here. And I couldn't find the parts needed today, so this wheel's still here for another day.